In this video, we'll take a look at recorded path and consider some situations where you might want to use it. First, we'll open a field, always the starting point. Here, we have no boundary, no AB line, nothing. So what is a recorded path? When you select it, you'll see the dialog is a small strip down the side of the screen. Not as big as the track editor. We can see we have no AB lines, and currently there are no recorded paths. Even if we create a sample AB line, there are still no recorded paths. They are completely separate. So let's demonstrate. We select the record button and drive a tractor. Note we are not auto steering at this point. We can't, we have no track. Then we hit the stop button and give the path a name. Let's bring up our track editor. And as expected, the recorded path we just created does not appear. In the recorded path folder dialog, we can turn the current path off or load this path or any other we have created. So how does a path work? Notice that one end of it has a pink square. This is the start of the path. Notice as well that as we drive around, there is no next pass as you would expect with a traditional track. There is one recorded path at one position, and that is all. There are three ways to enter and play back a recorded path. You can always join it from the start, you can join it from the last stop position, or you can join it at the nearest point. If we hit the play button, you'll see that AOG plots a course to begin the path from the beginning and then drives the track itself. In the simulator, it also runs at a fixed speed, so you have nothing to do except watch the magic. Notice that it prioritizes getting the front axle to follow the line, not the tool. When we get to the end and press play again, it wants to drive us all the way back to the beginning, but we can reverse the direction of the line by clicking the AB button, and when we press play this time, it will run the line in the opposite direction. If we change the last stop position and move forwards a little, we can see that it wants to loop back to ensure it catches that small movement. The last option is closest point. If we move off the line and press play, you'll see it tries to rejoin the line as soon as possible. Also, you can record the work of AOG itself by recording a track. Here, we'll bring our AB line back up and start recording. We'll jump over a lane and we'll do a turn. All these steps are recorded. And of course when we turn our AB lines off and play back, it wants to follow the pattern again. Lastly, here we have created a tool offset to illustrate that the tractor follows the line, not the tool. And this could be a good case where a recorded path might come in handy. Record a small lane while you drive it, then return with the hedge trimmer and let AOG do the steering while you watch the tool.
So that's it for Recorded Path. Hope you found this video useful, and please like and let us know in the comments any uses you found for this feature. Till next time!